Hi folks, got a new uh, lock here today. This is the Master Lock 2650 Push Key Padlock. Uh, Master Lock markets it as being good for uh, ADA compliance or for people with limited uh, dexterity. And they provide these little uh, plastic covers for the bow of the key. And the way it works is you simply insert the key like that and then you pull on the body of the lock and it's open you don't actually have to push the key in well I mean you have to do that to insert it but once it's in you don't actually have to press the key in so that will work now how do we pick this thing now keep in mind because this won't uh, the shackle and the plug won't be able to rotate until we have it unlocked and the shackle clears and the toe of the shackle clears the body. Uh, if you just start pulling it back and uh, lifting the binding pins, what will happen is that as you pull it out, uh, one of the pins, or at least one of the pins, will end up aligning with another driver pin further back in the lock and it will lock again usually about halfway I've had this happen to me a couple of times how do we deal with that? well, easiest thing to do is use what's called a cylinder shim this is uh, usually used by locksmiths uh, to help in repairing uh, locks where springs are busted and uh, gummed up or something Basically, when you need to pick the lock, but uh, circumstances aren't really letting you do that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to work this in around the edge of the cylinder, like that. We're going to line it up with where the pin stacks are, right there. And we're going to just put a little bit of light pressure on it, push it in against the pin stacks. And I'm going to go in here with my hook. Find the first pin and just lift it up until I feel that shim slide in. I think it, there we go. So I'm going to move on to the next pin. I'm going to just keep that light pressure on the shim. And just lift that pin. So I get some movement from the shim. There we go. Just move down the line. This is only a four pin lock. There we go. And I think we're just about on the last pin. Maybe even, oh, there we go. So now we're all the way in. And if we pull on the shackle, there we go. Now it's important to not remove this shim until you relock it because otherwise that same thing I told you about will happen where the driver pins will drop into uh, chambers that are supposed to be further forward in the plug. So that's about it. There's no uh, anti-shim protection there around the uh, plug face. So just a little bit of metal foil like this, very thin. You can even make these out of uh, the little inserts in those anti-theft tags that they put in clothing and DVD cases and stuff like that. Just cut those open and you get two or three of these out of those things. So, uh, you know, in terms of usability for someone uh, with some uh, issues manipulating a traditional padlock and key. Uh, not a not a bad job um, in terms of really securing things, uh, as is typical for master lock. Um, not so great. So, until next time, folks. Have fun and happy picking.